Dennis Neal with Monty TV, and now we've got the CEO of Endgame, a cybersecurity company, Nate Fick, is with us. Thanks for being here, Nate. Quite now, interestingly, a lot of people say that cyber is the next battleground, the next stage of warfare. You actually were in the Marines. I was. I was in the Marines almost six years. I served in Afghanistan, Iraq, and a bunch of other places, and came away from that experience with a very visceral conviction that there needs to be a better way to project American power around the world than spending blood and treasure in vast quantities overseas. Well, first, thank you for your service to our country. I think that's thank important you. to point out. And you actually say that instead of boots on the ground, we could have hands on the keyboard. I think there's a cyber component to national security for sure, and it's another tool at our disposal to advance American interests around the world. Yes. Now, is Endgame helping mostly businesses, or is actually Endgame helping government figure out ways to fight with cyber tools? Well, so we do both. We have government customers and we have commercial customers. We help our government customers do their cyber operations around the world. Uh, we help our commercial customers defend their networks around the world. Yeah. And, um, I'd read somewhere recently that maybe companies themselves should start going after these hackers, the guys that are in China or Latin America, and counterattack. But that uh, presents legal problems. Is so that right? So I don't think they should for two reasons, Dennis. First, it's illegal, as you point out. And second, look, I was a Marine. I came of age in an organization where you didn't escalate unless you could dominate. So if you're going to start up that chain, fist, stick, knife, gun, don't do it unless you can win. And I don't care if you're a Fortune 50 company spending a quarter billion dollars a year on cybersecurity, if you go up against the Chinese military, you will lose. And yet those uh, hackers, they have all the reason in the world to just keep trying and hitting on your systems a hundred times, a thousand times, 10,000 times, whereas you, the enterprise, need be wrong only once for devastating consequences. How can you help companies avoid being wrong even just once. So that's the structural imbalance in cyber. The attackers only have to be right once. The defenders have to be right all the time. It's even more complicated because attribution is really difficult. It's hard to tell who attacked you. Look at the confusion right now about whether North Korea did or did not attack Sony. Did they lead it? Did they support it? Were they the only actor? Were they one of many? Nobody really knows. And experts disagree, even inside the government. So attribution's tough. Deterrence doesn't work when attribution is hard. With a nuclear missile, for instance, you know where the shot came from. In cyber, that's not the case. Yeah. It seems like there's an arms war of sorts, and it seems like the hackers are always a step ahead of the security companies trying to stop them. How do security companies like Endgame and others, how do they jump out ahead of the hackers? So that's a great challenge, right? It's, it's easy to create chaos, it's hard to maintain order, and companies have to deal with things like laws and regulations and policies. But I think that security companies today can be really innovative and get out ahead of the hackers if you turn the map around, so to speak, and think about defending an enterprise from the perspective of the hacker, of the attacker, the adversary. Yeah. And uh, when you look at an enterprise from an attacker's perspective, you see some things that are useful then in, in, in thinking about constructing your defense. Okay. Now, I've talked to other cybersecurity uh, guys, and they point out that often when you've been hacked at an enterprise, the hackers have been inside your system for weeks or even months before you actually knew it. So the average time from breach to detection of a breach is about 200 days. And wow. lots of bad things happen during those 200 days. So one of our fundamental value propositions at Endgame is to empower your security team to hunt on your own network in order to shorten that time period from 200 days to something much, much less. And what is it that you're using, the special, soft, uh, special sauce in your software, to let me, a customer, identify and find out that there's some intruder that's been there for, for weeks and weeks. Uh, what is the special trick that allows you to do that? So we have a global sensor net that lets us see threats as they emerge from the dark corners of the internet in real time. Then we can instrument your environment with very lightweight sensors that don't impact your performance to let you monitor continuously your whole network. And then we allow you to, again, hunt, take that intelligence, isolate what's going on, and hunt in order to contain and then remediate the threat that's there. All right, so how many customer installations are you in? What's your annual revenue? So we're still a private company. We tripled sales last year. We're on track to double this year. We've got a full pipeline in the intelligence community, DOD, financial services, technology companies, critical infrastructure. Uh, the company's growing very quickly right now. Would it ruin an innovator like Endgame to end up getting acquired by an incumbent in cybersecurity, an, an Apache or, a, or a, a Sybase or something? Look, I think we have a lot of growth out ahead of us. We're not, we're not thinking about the end game for end game yet. All right. Thanks so much for being with us. Nate Fick, CEO of Endgame. Monty TV, we'll be back.